All right. Now this is just gonna be a relatively quick video because, well, one, I haven't had a chance to actually dive right into this thing. Now what this is, what this is, every pony, is the Daring Do Adventure Collection. Now I managed, I actually managed to get this a week early because I pre-ordered it. I don't know, I don't know what it is about Indigo, but they seem to like to deliver things just a little bit early. You know, a week, a week early. I ordered the journal of the two sisters through them, and they got it to me a week early. So, <laughs> yeah. Now, I just got this today. So, forgive me if, you know, I miss some little tidbit of information that you guys know about. Um, if you do know something about it, please leave it in the comments for other people to read. And, yeah. So, first thing that I want to go through is just how well detailed this, this just this little chest is. In the light that you guys are probably seeing it in, it looks gold. And, honestly, from the light that I'm seeing it in, it does look gold now aside from the color you guys will probably notice that there are little jewels just all over the front of the just all over this thing and well I know that you guys probably can't see it very well in the camera but all along the front and the sides and just basically everywhere well almost everywhere there's what looks to be Mayan slash Aztec slash Incan writing all over this which to me makes a lot of sense because that's the sort of environment that Daring Do's adventures tend to take place, you know, at least in the show. In fact, uh, Ali Zodal is actually... He's actually from Mayan mythology. <laughs> so, I'm not going to delve too deep into his origins or anything like that, but... Anyways... This is very much intended to look like a treasure chest. And it even shows in the front here, you guys can, well, obviously you guys can see the lock because I'm looking at the back right now and yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just rambling. Now on the back here, it's actually rather interesting because if you look, you can actually see something similar to what we see in the show, a sort of yin and yang type thing going on here. Now, whether that's supposed to be Celestia and Luna, I'm not too sure, but it is apparent that whoever, like whatever ancient culture was supposed to create this, this chest obviously knew about them. So, anyways, now let's take a look at the top, here you can actually see you know, the My Little Pony stamp, but what's really interesting is you get this picture of Daring Do, and even as it says her name, there's small, there's small, very fine jewels actually embedded in it. So, yeah, and the artwork actually continues all along the sides, and it's, it's not the same on both sides. 
obviously there you get it looks to be an alicorn that's on that's on the right side of the box and on the left yeah on the left you can actually see two more alicorns so yeah now let's take a look inside and see what we got now obviously there's nothing too impressive on the lid you're not really supposed to look at it but on the bottom here all along where the books are you can see more of that Incan, Mayan, Aztec writing and whatnot. So, yeah. Again, as as I've said with yeah, the Journal of two, of the Two Sisters and and the Elements of Harmony guidebook. I like little details like this. It really just shows how much time and effort and thought the manufacturers have actually put into this. Now, I'm just gonna pull. I'm just gonna pull these out and set this box aside because it's what's on the inside that counts. So. Now, this is the exclusive collection. What you get is, well, you get three different books, obviously. You get Daring Do and the Forbidden City of the Clouds. Daring Do and the yeah, and the Eternal Flower. Sorry, I cannot read upside down, so you guys gotta forgive me a bit. And Daring Do and the hold on, hold on. Yep, Daring Do and the Marked Thief of Maripore. Now. I want to do just a quick, just a quick little comparison here. This is a book from the main paperback series by G. M. Burrow. As you guys can probably see, these books are much bigger. And They are much thicker. Now, there's a lot of story in these. I mean, these these little paperbacks, they're meant more for story time with, with the kids. And there's little games in those and whatnot. These don't have those. As far as I know, these actually just have little gloss, yeah, it's just little glossaries at the back explaining some things. You know, what they are and what they're supposed to be. There's two little bios about the authors. And these are written by A.K. Yearling herself, A.K.A. Daring Do. But in truth, these are not written by A.K. Yearling because, as we all know, she is just a little ficti fictitious character on an animated show about talking ponies. Who these are actually written by is G.M. Burrow, who actually writes the main series and is now an author on the sh well, now a writer on the show. So, there's these, and then, and this little beauty right here, it's actually supposed to be, well, it's supposed to look like a, a hollowed out book, but 
obviously it doesn't. And what it is, is just a little keepsake box. And inside is the exclusive figure that comes with this set, which is the golden, the golden Daring Do Idol. Now, to me it looks rather cheaply made. Um, I guess that's because of just yeah, just how I'm looking at it. It does look like it's supposed to be like one of the little, the little miniatures, but yeah, yeah, it is. It 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 to me, it's really not something that if you really want this for your little miniature collection, then. Um, it's probably best to just find somebody that has this whole, you know, this whole set and probably pay them, you know, what you would in stores for something like this, as opposed to just going out paying the $75 just for this. Personally, I didn't buy this set and just for the little figure, I didn't even really care about it at the time. I just wanted the books. Because, well, even though my library isn't all that impressive, I'd still like to add it to my collection. And, yeah. Now, do I recommend actually paying the $75 to get this set. If you have the rest of these books, if you have the whole GM Burrow series, which I am working on getting, or say you want to add it to just your general collection of My Little Pony, and you have the Journal of the Two Sisters and the Elements of Harmony guidebook, and you think that this would be something that you would like to have, then yes, I would recommend going out and getting it. Um, believe it or not, my mom, who shows no real interest in the show, I mean, like we've watched it, I've watched it with her a few times, and she likes it, but she doesn't watch it as much as I do. But she has actually told me that she would like to read these books, because she's not reading anything else, and she's actually a bit of an Indiana Jones fan, so this, for her, is probably about as close as she's going to get to something like that. Now, these are, well, these are full-on chapter books, so uh, probably something more for the advanced reader. If you're looking at getting these books for your kids, they would probably make for a very good bedtime story. And you could probably read them a chapter every night, and yeah, it would be much better for parents to read these to younger children. And if you're getting these for your older, for older children, then it's it's safe to say that it's probably in the in the age range of maybe seven to eight years old and it also depends on their reading level uh, me I was reading books like this seven at seven and a half eight years old so but that's just me I'm I've always been ahead of everybody else so do I recommend this? Should you pay the $75 that this is worth? 
Or should you go out and get the individual books themselves and probably pay more than this? I would, actually. Um, even just, even if you can just find the individual sets. You know, just the little individual books. Or if you can find this. And I'm sure that many of you out there already have this pre-ordered on Amazon or through Barnes and Noble that you will be receiving this this beautiful golden jewel encrusted chest in your mailbox sometime next week <laughs> So, until next time, this is Shadow Pony signing out.